Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create test cases for SAP or HRMS related applications. When we talk about SAP, CRM or HRMS related applications, this is a bit difficult applications or complex applications. So writing the test cases for these type of applications and covering end-to-end -end scenarios and test cases is a bit tricky. And we have to make sure that we are, while writing the test cases, we are covering each and every test cases. So whenever we are assigning these test cases, that will call as the complete testing scenarios or complete testing test cases are ready with us so that we cannot miss any defect occurring inside development process. So here we'll see so here we'll see one of the orange HRMS applications and try to create the test cases for this application so that whenever a testing team or execution team or junior tester will perform this type of activity by following this test cases, they will be able to test these applications end to end. So if you want to learn the complete scenarios and test cases, how you will write the test cases for these type of applications please be our learn from start to end of this video and if you have not yet subscribed this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further updates so here if you can see this is orange hrms applications that are available first we have to enter the username and password so this is a username and password is available here so just copy and paste it here and post that click on login and if you want to learn about how to write test cases for login page i've already created one video separately i will also include the url in description tab i will also include the url in description tab so that you can refer it easily by just going to the description board now right now we are in orange hrms or crm or sap like applications main board where we can see the complete dashboard is available now for writing the complete test cases or for writing all the test cases is not at all possible in single video which is having 20 minutes or 30 minutes so let's consider one one tab or one menu options here now we are covering for leave related applications so if you can see here when we click on the leave we will have several options are available we are just Hovering the contain and you can see these tabs are available and in the below sections here we will apply the leave and whatever leave is applied we can see the detail from here now for this we are going to refer this access we are going to refer this access sheet for creating the test cases we will generate the test case id title step descriptions expected result actual result status right now we are not entering here because we are not testing you might find the civil other columns are also available like environment test data so here we are not entering this type of fields we are just focusing how we will write the test cases for crm sap or hrms related applications so i'll hide this and we'll expand this content See, this is for the status positive and negative scenario we'll mark it here for additional things it's also not required because we are not performing testing here so majorly we will focus in these th uh, these things like title step descriptions expected results and test here we can also divide into bucket so let's say if we are working into any module wise so we'll add here a module so that whenever we'll have a team of big size then we will divide the test cases based on the module now i'm referring module as this different things like admin is a one model pim is a one model leave time these are the models we are bucketing it so we are talking about the models so if you can see here these are the models which is available here so right now we are focusing into the leave so here we'll add leave as a model now what i will do i will merge these all cells and keep it on top so that this model will be applicable to everywhere 
now let's get id we are keeping if you want we can add it here so just move it or uh, let's keep as test case and here we'll add with leaf l001 now the title will be we will provide the title description the complete descriptions about the steps and which all expected results we are expecting from this will add it here so first what i did we perform the login page so whenever we are doing this type of lesson we have to go from one by one or steps to step so let's say if i want to open the leaf page definitely first i need to perform the login and post that we'll click on the leaf and then we can perform this several options so right now what i will do do to check leave menu options this is my title now to for verifying this definitely we have to go from the login page so first open open hrms application and then then the second step we are doing enter username and password then in the next step what we are click on login okay and enter then in the next steps what we are going navigate to leak page for leaf mail so by performing the steps what we are doing we are just reaching to the leaf page expected result will be so when we we'll open the hrms application so here let's let me add as a pointer wise one point number one two this is the steps descriptions if we have to define it into different different steps right so once we'll enter these uh, criteria or selected this criteria definitely that will have the expected results so what we are expecting from this so first one is hrms applications will open with login page next one is here directly we are moving into the four step because this is the intermediate steps which we are performing of just entering username and password and clicking on the login post that once we we'll click on the login page the main dashboard will be available so here instead of step number 2 we are entering step number 3 and defining main dashboard will be visible after login this is correct next one is leave is will be available with several options so we have to define all these options which is available into the leave page like calendar here we will be able to see calendar just log in it again i am reminding if you want to know or learn how to write the test cases for the login page i already included the url and description tab i already created one video for that which will explain you how to write the test cases for the login page now when i will hover it this options will appear it close it now you can see from and to which options we are selecting as a status then employee name and sub unit in which unit we are working and click on search so if i want to apply the leave i have to follow this options because if member are already used all their leaves 
they won't be able to see all the leaves options are available leave list we can see it here all the leave list we are having for the step now if we'll go back here this is the test case one is completed let's continue with test case two now second one is to verify a leaf page to verify if we have already available leaf balance are there or not to where so here to verify leaf balance Now steps will perform the similar steps will add it here. A part of that, we will enter the fifth one as navigate to to leave balance. Now go back to the application and see. Apply leave. Click on apply leave or leave list. We can see it from here as well. If you have any available leave for our credentials. Now, you can, if you click on the apply leave, then that is also showing how many leaves balance you have. So, navigate to leave balance or apply. Apply. Six. Check the leaf balance. Now we'll copy the single step here and hit enter. Alt enter. Find number five. Apply leaf with calendar. To select options will be here. Next one and six point we are writing here to apply leave. To verify leave. Check the different options. like casual leave then we have peel then we have seal then we have earn leave then we have peel so the diff different options are there so if you have already present leaves are there then definitely you can see it from there in different different buckets definitely that will be divided into different bucket Market it. Why we are writing into very descriptive manner? The reason behind that test test writing will be done either by the test lead or senior tester. Generally, when we have this type of complete set, we can assign the test cases to the junior tester who don't have the knowledge about the applications. Even they already verified this rather than missing by performing just random step if we already have this type of steps are available definitely they will perform the steps accordingly right next one is let's write for the third test case now if we want to assign the leaf definitely we will select on the assign leaves for assignment of the leaves we have to add to verify assign leave now for assignment of the leave definitely rather than doing the login page again and again we'll select this options now 
will write here instead of this so what will write one post login navigate to so this is a point number two other step third one will be navigate to assign leave or select select assign leave leave and then this will be fourth option point number four next to go to the select employee name leave type from date to date this is a mandatory a part of that these are the options criteria so if you want we can add each one by one or we can also write it out here as point number step number five like enter the details here we'll write employee name then we have leave type from date to date leave type from date to date and optional things so these are the mandatory criteria so again we have to test it without entering this that will become a negative scenario so optional fail now we are done with this and hit enter so hit assign step number six select assign what we'll do here here we are writing login successfully fully then leave page will appear appear with different options then select assign link when we are selecting assign leave we'll have all the details for assignment assignment then here we are we don't want to verify it because we are selecting assign leave so this is step number four and this will become step number five now we'll remove this as well so details added assignment done with successful full message now we are done this is again a positive uh, scenario this will become a positive test case now here what i will do will write it for negative scenarios to verify if we are entering the detail or if we are trying to submit the data without any value in required field then what it will happen it should throw an error message so here will verify assign leave data blank in required field so we'll verify it one by one now next 
use this exactly same steps we are performing and the uh, employee name your uh, submit submit without entering any value in in these fields so these are the required value right employee name leave type from date and to date here these are not required fine and click on assign now we'll get an error message error message available for each field to enter the data now again right now we are working into one by one field for the required value so if we are not this is we are submitting with the blank data sometimes what happened instead of this here we have drop down right now employee name if if we want to submit employee name with number can if it take this is an invalid number it means this employee name this is expecting from system generated or alpha bits so right now we have to verify the type as well so verification of the type we have to select verify employee employee name in assign leave assign leave which type of data it is expecting we have to verify it accordingly so again test case this will become test case 4 and this will become test case 5 now here we have to verify the value or type of value what we are entering here so this will again a negative scenario so select assign leave submit employee name employee name as a number and rest all valid data so in that case we will get an error message so here this is step number four and enter step number five this will become step number four. Step number five. Yeah. So once we enter error message, will be available for here we we'll add step number five because there is a no expected from this. There is a no navigation error message available for employee name employee name same thing it will happen when we will add a special character in employee name field so verify employee name in assign leave with special character okay we'll add it here same thing name as a special character because any name cannot have any special character so again there will be an error message next one here we are trying to enter the alphanumeric value alphanumeric value it means like this so right pull 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 one one two three this will become alphanumeric value so instead of alpha it will never expect the alpha sometimes what happened might we might have let's enter this right guru 
circle one two three and click on assign again it is showing invalid otherwise we have to select from these mandates again a drop down list now from day and to date is a mandatory comment can have any value so uh, in similar way we have to write for these many field once we click on assign the assignment will be done so i am not touching the other value here we have drop down so it won't affect if we are selecting the drop down value now if you want to see the report we have to go to the report and leave type select the read type and click on view then we will see the complete report will be generated so what we are doing here we are verifying for the each and every field from the drop down so we have to write the test cases based on the leaf type the balance then uh filter out the details so if i am filtering the exact value should be populated here so each and every filter should work properly so that the application can have the better output so for writing this we have to again write one by one for each of the cases so this is how we'll write the test cases of sap hrms or erp related application because this is a complex that too many fields are there so we have to make sure each and every test cases for particular fields and with the type of the fields hope this will be helpful if you need any other test cases regarding these type of applications please add the comment section so that i'll check and get back to you thank you for watching